So what are intersection types? Intersection types let us combine types using the ampersand operator. I think that's ampersand. So the next example also shows how we can use interfaces and type aliases together. So let's go over it, which is going to be awesome. So we can create an interface Pokemon. You know it. We can say string. Oops, the formatting is on point, but don't worry, we have prettier, so who cares, right? And this is really interesting. So you might be confused, what is this? And this is really a tuple which you can define inside an interface. So you can say string or string optional, right? Yeah, I just threw this in for fun. So you can see that you can even use a tuple inside an interface. And we're going to cover what a tuple is later, even. Yeah, so we can say an interface ability which is going to be blaze420, am I right? So you can say interface moves, and say fire punch, and I can say void. So now we can combine these types using intersections. So we can say type fire. So this is really like Lego, we can combine the pieces together. Yeah, so we can say ability and moves which is really awesome. So if we hover over it, we can see it has ability and moves. Yeah, and then we can say type fire Pokemon is Pokemon and if I can type Pokemon and fire. Yeah, so we have fire, which is going to be ability and moves. So this is going to be our attacks, right, for fire. And then we have a fire Pokemon that's made of Pokemon and fire, right? And now we combine these awesome types. So we can create Charizard. Say const Charizard. We can say the Charizard is a fire Pokemon. And then let's give him a name. We can say Charizard. Let's give him HP 100. We can say Pokemon type. And here is why we use the tuple. So we can say fire flying. Yeah, and then let's get the auto completion so we can say blaze console log let's use backticks say this name referring to the object right use let me just copy this over use blaze and then we can also give him a fire punch can do this backtick oops this name used and then we can Copy it over. That's how easy it is. There we go. And then we can say Charizard. So imagine if you're making some silly game and <laughs> yeah. I love these examples. Uh, fire punch. So yeah, that's it. So let me just also run the example. So Charizard used Blaze and Charizard used Fire Punch. So how awesome is this? So we used intersections to create a combination of types, so fire and fire Pokemon, then we use it to specify it for Charizard. And then by combining all the types, we can just cherry pick whatever we want, etc. So I hope that inspires you. <laughs> but of course, if you want, you can also use an interface as I have it here in this example. So you can say interface fire extends ability and move. So you can specify more. And then you can also say interface fire Pokemon extends Pokemon fire. So it's up to you which one you prefer, but of course you can only combine types like this using a type alias. So yeah, hope you learned something and catch you in the next one.